exit steps. Hopefully you already took a picture of your notes and put that in there. Now I want you to complete the exit ticket. So we've got multiple questions here. Um, do you understand? Be precise. So identify the variable and the operation in the algebraic expression right here. So the variable is X is the variable. Operation, when they're asking for operation, it's either addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. So what operation is happening here? We have a divide going on, so we have division. Or, yeah, we have division there. That's just how we, we should look at that one. Um, vocabulary, here's number two. Explain why 15 plus 1 half n is an algebraic expression. So an algebraic expression contains a variable. So we have the variable n involved. So since we have a variable within, it's, it's algebraic. So what means an expression? Expression means we don't have an equal sign. We'd call this an algebraic equation if it was 15 plus 1 half n equals 20. Then it's an algebraic equation. This is just an expression because it's open-ended. It doesn't, it's not set to anything. It's just there. Okay, write an algebraic expression for each situation. Five less than y. These are tricky, but I have y, and to take five less from them, I'm minus five. A lot of people in this one want to do five minus y. That would be um, y less than five. This is five less than y. So we take y, and we take five away from it. So six times the quantity 2x plus 3y. So I want to multiply six times something, but that something we're multiplying by is the quantity. So of 2x plus 3. So here, I'm going to get rid of this multiplication I did as an x, and I can just put a dot. Or I can put nothing in this case, because if 6 was sitting right next to the parentheses, any number right next to the parentheses is multiply. But I'm going to put a dot in there to show multiplication. 